What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess. Thank you for being here. Today is going to be a fun one. It's going to be real fun. Because today we are sampling beer. But not just any beer. Local craft beer and collective arts brewing. In 2013, Collective Arts was founded by Matt Johnston and Bob Russell in Hamilton, Ontario. The purpose of this brewery was to combine the craft of brewing with the craft of arting. So anything from musicians and photographers to filmmakers. On each can of beer, um, you'll find a unique piece of art from emerging artists from all around the world. Every three months, Collective puts out a call to artists to submit their work. If yours is chosen, you obviously get your artwork on the can. They also will provide you with a monetary value, but to me, having your artwork on a can is more valuable than the money. That's just my opinion. The collective also supports musicians. They do this by allowing groups or bands or artists to submit artwork that has to do with any upcoming music that they may be releasing, any album artwork. And if yours is chosen, they'll pair it with a craft beer that's like two merged into one. Something really cool that they do is if the musical talent doesn't have any artwork for their music or for the release. Collective sort of acts as like a mediator between the two, so they'll find an artist to be paired with the musician um, to create like a collaboration, and this is at no cost to the artist. So I ordered last week, and with my order I received guitar tabs. Um, it is a band called the Blue Stones and it's really cool because they had a happy hour the day after I got my delivery on their Instagram live and the Blue Stones, Justin and Tarek, they played some of their music and they also were teaching everyone to play this song. So I thought that was really cool and I also got two guitar picks not that I play guitar, but my fiance does, so I don't know. I actually just really like guitar picks because I think they look cool. I just thought it was a really cool concept that I've never really seen anybody do before, and it's just really unique. So they currently have on their website, let's see here. Let's see. They currently have one, two, three, four, they have a lot. They have a lot of beer. They also sell cider, which is something I will be trying today. Spoiler alert. And they make gin also, which I've never tried yet. Stay tuned for that. What I think I like most about Collective is one of their core values. Um, and I'll actually read it straight from their website. It's part of their mission statement and it's creativity fosters creativity, which I just love. That makes so much sense to me. Something I've been thinking about a lot during the quarantine is that if we all got to do what we loved and we all supported each other in doing that, whether it's painting or singing or building something, whatever makes you tick, if we all supported each other in doing that, wouldn't we all be a lot happier and just better, just better people. But stuff like that that really excites and inspires me when I see businesses that are so unique and just really value creativity and passion. Something else I want to mention is that basically since the beginning of this quarantine, um, Collective Arts has been doing curbside delivery. It's super easy, it's very convenient, um, and if you live in Hamilton, Ancaster, Stony Creek, Waterdown, Dundas, Burlington, Kitchener, Waterloo, Guelph, Oakville, Mississauga, and then certain parts of Etobicoke and Toronto, if you order 
before noon, you'll actually get your beer on that same day. So awesome. The service is excellent. People are very nice. I've never had any issues. Um, you receive an email when your order is confirmed. You receive an email when your delivery is on the way. They text you to let you know they're coming and they also send you a tracking number so you can see exactly where they are. So literally no complaints there. The best customer service ever. And since we've been in quarantine times, they've actually started making hand sanitizer. So last time I picked up a couple bottles because we are running low and I think this is a great idea, especially when you have all the space and the facility to do stuff like this. I just think that it's a good way to give back and they have been donating these to frontline workers or healthcare workers. You can pick these up on their website too. They're about $6.99 I think, but they're a huge bottle, like 237 milliliters probably gonna last me a while. Okay, so on to the fun stuff. So today I'm going to be tasting three different beverages. We have audio visual, which is a lager. There's a raspberry dry hopped um, sour. And I also have one of their seasonal drinks. It's a cider, apple, cherry. It's called Circle the Sun. Let's get into it. First, we have audio visual. I'm not gonna lie, I've had those before. This is my go-to. I will actually read the descriptions straight from the website so we can get a full overview. Audio visual. Discover new music with audio visual. This collaborative series celebrates the intersection of art music and beer featuring a record label, four, ban four bands, and one visual artist. Every three months, the bands, the record label, and the artist will switch, making room for continued discovery of emerging music of all genres. Audio visual lager is super refreshing, making it the ideal beer for concerts, green rooms, backyards, or whatever you're tuning. Audio visual is brewed with Pilsner malt and brown rice in cold age for four weeks for the most refreshingly clean, crisp finish possible. We use Waiati hops, I don't know if I'm saying that right, for fresh notes of lime and mandarin citrus to round out. Audio visual, cool can, it is 4.9%. The music uh, featured on this one is called Heinz. The gig art is Mikey Lavi. Label mom and pop. Bust the bamboo open. Love that noise. Let's take a look. Here it is. It was really good. I'm not gonna lie, I've been waiting all day to drink this. <laughs> it's a really light in color, pretty light smelling. Yeah. It's so good. Honestly, it's very smooth. Um, it's not super hoppy, like it's not really light, but it's not so hoppy that you're kind of like gagging on it. Like sometimes I find beer is like over hoppy. It reminds me of Budweiser, if you are if we're steering away from craft style beers, it's kind of like that. It was really good. Delicious. So if you're looking for something super smooth, not very hoppy, easy drinking, audio visual is the best. Next we have raspberry dry hopped. Not only did we throw a mountain of raspberries into this brew, we backed them up with a generous amount of berry forward mosaic of Barbe Rouge hops. The result is a refreshingly tart, fruit forward sour ale. This is an ale. I think it's a pale ale. It is 5.5% in the small can. The art is by Chen Li from Toronto. All right. First, 
This reminds me of like the smell. This like sort of hibiscusy. Smells really good. Ooh, that pouring noise. It is beautiful. Honestly, this is a beautiful color. Ooh, it is sour. It's really good though. Like it's light and it's not so sour that you're like a baby with a lemon in its mouth or something. Like this is really good. It's fruity and it's smooth and it's like light. It's light tasting. There's so many things going on here. Like I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's a very summery drink, I think. Chill on the balcony. Just be chilling. Oh my God. I can't get over the color. That is a beautiful color. And last but not least, we have Circling the Sun. The cider, it is a seasonal, so they don't have it all the time. Our apple and cherry cider is a tart cherry cider blend made with Ontario Montmorency cherry juice from the Niagara Escarpment. Represents. I'm blended with our nature thing cider. The flavor of fresh cherries and orchard grown apples is paired perfectly. The result is a juicy and fresh cider, which is extremely well balanced, dry, and is an ideal beverage for the summer. Yeah. Love the can. I don't know, I just really like the color scheme. Same with the raspberry dry hop, gluten free, which is awesome. This one is 5.8, so strongest of the three. The art is by Boris Bevere from Montreal, which is probably why I can't say that last name. I'm sorry for butchering it. Got a big glass for this one. Oh, look at that. It's so good. It's so good. Beauty color. Love the deep red. It smells like apples. Don't get much of a cherry um, scent, but you can taste the cherry. I would say it's more on the apple side. The cherry, I think, makes it tart. But I like it. I like the the balance of the two. Like one doesn't really outweigh the other. I just realized I have to drink all these. So these are all delicious in their own way. Besides the taste of these, I am super impressed with Collective Arts as a business. They really highlight the importance of community and strength in numbers and strength in collaboration and in working together and in supporting each other. They give back and I just really respect that about them. And I'm really glad to be part of this community because of businesses like this. So that's it. That was super fun and thank you for watching and I want to keep doing things like this. And now I have to finish on <laughs> Yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this, please share it with your friends and your family. And support Collective Arts Brewing because they are awesome. Bye!